Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. This is the general reading, so if you find that it resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstance. So first, I want to pull from my Right Burn and Create deck just to see what you all should be out there manifesting and creating at this time. Okay, if you want to order any of my decks, check the description box for my email. I have recently changed my email. So my email is now Shavi Zane Services. 7777. So that's four sevens, okay? Shavi Zane Services 7777 at gmail.com. Email me if you want to order any of my services to roll lessons, readings, or any of my decks. So let's see what you all should be creating right now based on the energy that you are projecting. You know that you need to be in alignment with the energy in order to attract what you want to manifest. So, all right. The card that came out says, I am divinely protected at all times. I am divinely protected at all times. So that could indicate, I'm going to take one more. That could indicate that you definitely want to put your protection up, okay? Um, there could be some energies, you know, there's always, ain't no could be. There's always energies that wants to attack the chosen just because of who you are. Just because of you, you know, the fact that you're the one to receive the inheritance and the birthright. Why? Because you've done the work to deserve it. And so there's always opposition that doesn't want to see the chosen take our seats back, okay? Take our royal place back here in the world. So it says, I have an overflow of financial abundance. I have an overflow of financial abundance. So you, these are the things that you're going to write on your candle, okay? I didn't mention that before. You write this on your candle to create the energy. The element of fire is very powerful. Written word is very powerful. Your faith is very powerful. So when you combine those things and you're working with the most high in your spiritual team, that's when you start creating some things, okay? So I am divinely protected at all times. I have an overflow of financial abundance. This could also indicate that the attacks or the opposition is towards your abundance in some way to try to slow you down or to try and get you to feel less passionate or enthusiastic about your creative ideas but whatever the case may be you're going to shift that energy by creating a higher vibrational energy for yourself so let's see hmm, i told y'all five of swords this is manipulation and this person in the background will be the one who's trying to do the manipulating okay Feeling like whatever they can do, you know, they're even willing to draw blood for the sake of bringing you down. And so they're feeling like, okay, if I do this, if I manipulate this person in some way, then they feel like they, they would have the victory over you by fighting up against you. This is also a card of envy and jealousy, but many of you are receiving very divine messages, highly, um, highly divine messages through the birds, okay? You see how this bird is speaking directly to this person. If you've been seeing a lot of black birds, it could also indicate that there is some form of spell work or trickery that people are trying to send towards you, but you are protected, okay? Um, but consider that whoever this is, it's all about their ego. It's all about winning at all costs here, causing you mental stress. That's the objective. But they are being seen. They're being watched in everything that they do because... While you have this bird that's telling you what's going on, there's four of them that's hovering over this person right here. So it just shows that whatever they tried to send towards you, it is now their burden because it's coming back to them four times stronger. Okay, those birds are hovering over this person. So if they're trying to come at you specifically when it comes to your finances, they're losing four times over what they was hoping that you would lose. Um, and so... It's not wise for these people to continue in this foolishness, but some people, it's just embedded in their DNA. You know, that's what they came here to do. It's just to be karmic and to stay karmic. And this is why the following the next lifetimes that they experience are just not going to be very good. Neither will this one, though. So there's another five here. Some of you might be seeing multiple fives, five, 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 or whatever the case may be. But five of pentacles with the queen of cups. It's mainly because someone misses your energy. Whoever this is, you know, you're loving yourself now. You're focused on yourself. Um, you've surrendered to the most high, okay? You're finding balance with your emotions. Some of you had to dive deep into your emotions to really feel some things and to get to, to purge some things here. And so now you found this, this strong um, connection to the most high and you're being crowned here. 
you're being crowned for the work that you have done on yourself here. Meanwhile, someone, whoever this person is that's been trying to sabotage is the same person that's feeling left out in the cold here. They feel like they do not have access to something that you yourself has access to, but they could have access if they would just do the work, you know. They could definitely open up this door and come out of the cold if they would just do the work, but the work that they've been putting in is to work up against you. That's what they would much rather spend their time doing. And so while they're doing this, it's like, for them, they want you in this five of pentacles. They want you to be burdened. They want you to feel like you don't have anything. You know, the five of pentacles is lack. It's, you know, um, being left out in the cold. It's, it can be homelessness. It can be illness. They want you in this energy, feeling like you're burdened and left out in the cold. And this, it, it does something to their ego to think that you might be in this energy, but that's not you. This is where you are, surrendering to the process of change and knowing that everything happens in divine timing. And as long as you continue to create and manifest along the most side, you know, co-create alongside the most high mother and father in your spiritual team, things are ultimately going to work out in your favor anyway. And so you're in this position of surrender while they're in this position of attack, you know, attack and uh, creating as much havoc as possible, at least in terms of whatever they're capable of creating for you. Because the most high your spiritual team is only going to allow but so much, depending on how much healing you need to do and how much more you need to understand the power that you possess to be the co-creator of your life. If you're still in denial about the power that you possess, then there are certain things that your enemies will be able to do towards you just to get your attention to remind you like, no, you don't have to sit on this. No, you don't have to be in lack. No, you don't have to feel like you're not protected or constantly being attacked. You can know, you know, you stand on your strength, stand on your square, you know, do those declarations, declare and decree that change happens now, that divine protection is now, okay? There it is. You're going to manifest. That's what the magician is all about. That's what this card is. You're going to manifest and you're going to will, you know, what you desire. If somebody else, doing, you know, working in darkness can affect your existence, then you working with the most high and working from a space of love, you have all the power, you have so much more power than what you realize, but sometimes your enemy is able to flex just a little bit in your life by using low vibrational energy just to remind you that energy can be manipulated. And so if someone else can manipulate your circumstance, then you most certainly have the authority to go a hundred times harder and making your situation a hundred times better, okay? Working with light energy working with divine energy, not low vibrational, wicked, conjuring up demons type of stuff, okay? So I'm definitely seeing that you are being called to surrender to the process of change, but to get into your power. Let me see, the magician is the number one, okay? This is like a new beginning, but I do also see spell work though. I do see that as well with the magician here, um, the spell work that's being done specifically by, you know, someone who's bitter, okay? I'm not even going to go male or female. Whoever this is, they are bitter. They're mad. They're angry. They're suppressing their emotions. There's things that they want to say to you that they can't say to you because you're too busy over here focused on self-love, okay, and becoming the best version of yourself. So this person is angry and... They're trying to manipulate your financial circumstances, even your emotions. Um, mm -hmm. With the moon here in the reverse, you see it all, though. It's, it's going to be revealed to you, um, even if it's not like a lot of things get revealed to the chosen through dreams, through premonitions, through visions, through spiritual downloads. Um, you'll gain the clarity about what this person has been doing. Let me clarify the moon in the reverse, because that means that whatever they thought was hidden is it's been exposed, you know, it's been exposed. So what is the moon in the reverse? The queen of wands and the knight of swords in the reverse. The fact of the matter is, whoever this king of swords in the reverse is connected to this uh, knight of wand, knight of swords in the reverse energy. And this Knight of Swords in a reverse energy is someone who is, they got a lot that they want to say. They're very angry. Okay. They're fuming, but 
They're not outwardly expressing this. But you are manifesting and creating with the Queen of Wands energy the opposite effect of what they're trying to send towards you. And so I think what's being revealed, if anything, was being shown to this person that's been working up against you or people specifically is that your authority over your life, your ability to manifest and to create and to alchemize energy is far more powerful than anything that they can conjure up any day. They're starting to learn that. They have become, they become very clear about that. The moon in the reverse. It's not a mystery to anyone here. They're very clear about the power that you possess here. And they understand where your power comes from. So this is highly intimidating. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Four of Wands is at the bottom of the deck here. Whoever was doing this, this King of Swords energy in the reverse... They was doing this because they're mad that they've been left out in the cold and they know that you are getting ready to come into union with your divine partner. This could also be you coming into balance of your own masculine and feminine energy where your creativity is at an all time high, like your creative ideas. You know, not only you just having the ideas, I just saw 11-11 on my timer, not just having the ideas, but actually taking a practical effort to bring those ideas into fruition and being dedicated to doing just that. They see that your energy is like through the roof. You're looking better than ever. You're feeling better than ever. You're active, okay? And so because you're, um, they can see this very clearly, it's, give, it's starting to give them the headache. They're starting to realize like they can't take you up out of here because you're powerful. Not only are you uh, powerful, but you're protected. This lion back here represents your spiritual team who is always with you. They always have your back. And those things that you cannot necessarily see, they always see. They're always watching, ready to devour any enemy that tries to come your way. Okay? And so there is, for many of you though, I'm definitely seeing, for those of you out there who have divine partners, your person was also under spiritual attack. They was under spiritual attack by people in their personal life but also under spiritual attack by the person who is disappointed that you have left them out in the cold, okay? So this person was doing spell work towards you and the potential person who would later come into your life. And it's not because the thing is, you might be like, okay, but there's nobody in my life. I don't even know who this person is. Understand that it's all still energy, so this person who was working up against you was doing spell work against you, but also against any potential person that will come into your life that would actually love you, that would actually balance your energy out. Someone who you could connect with, partner up with, that you would be passionate about. It's like they're just putting, they're sending a spell work out there just as a general energy to try and prevent this union from coming together. Okay. You could be two fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming together, but you don't have to be. It's just two people who are both very, very creative, who will have very creative ideas and gifts here, who are master manifestors, who understand their power, very attractive people, people who take care of themselves, who value themselves, and this um, that just has this spark, this light that is undeniable, okay? These are leaders, and so I feel like this person... Whoever this King of Swords, uh, Knight of Swords energy is in the reverse, this person is very, very bitter. They have no divine connection. They have no divine protection either. They're in trouble. The way that I see those birds hovering over this person, they think that they gain some form of a victory by working up against you and trying to block your finances. It's coming back to haunt them in ways that they don't even see. And what's interesting, look at this. This is a seven of swords. Whoever this person is, they could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but they don't have to be. They can be a cancer. I got cancer energy here. But whoever the hell this person is, they don't even realize, you probably can't see it, but in this deck, there's a trail of blood. There's a trail of blood right here, okay, behind this person. This would be your energy right here in the front. There's no blood coming from you, okay? So it's almost like this person has injured themselves and they don't even know it. Their adrenaline is so high, that bitterness and that desire to win at all costs is so high that they don't even realize that there's a trail of blood behind them. They have been, they have injured themselves trying to injure you chosen. 
I don't know what type of energy this is, but consider the seven of swords is here. And this person is carrying a knife here. Now, I'm not saying it's extreme to that point, you know, where they're outwardly doing these things in the physical. They better not. But what I'm seeing is more of a spiritual um, attack that they sent towards you. They have injured themselves with their own weapons. Because your spiritual team was telling it all the whole time, even while they was planning in the plotting phase. In the planning phase, because consider the moon card came out in the reverse. And what's above this person is the moon. So when the moon is in a reverse, that means nothing is hidden. Everything is brought out into the open. Okay? You can clearly see it. This person thought that they was doing, they was throwing stones and hiding their hand. They was committing spiritual crimes and they thought that they was going to be able to get away with it because they was doing it in the darkness, not realizing that the moon was there to illuminate everything that they thought was hidden and that your spiritual team, which would represent these birds, was always around watching every single thing that they planned on doing, everything that they did behind the scenes while they tried to cloak themselves, covering themselves up when you can't even see this person's face. Because even in this card, you can't see the person. It's just a shadow image of them. This person, they live in their shadow. That's how they are. They live in their shadow because they have not done any work. And so they hide who they truly are from the world. Most people would look at this person and not even think that they would go to the distance of trying to do spell work against other people out of bitterness. But that's who this person truly is. They're a very bitter soul that is dealing with abandonment issues. Because even with this Knight of Swords that came out in the reverse, this person is also cloaked here where you can't see them. But there is your, there's that bird again, right? Hovering above them. So regardless of what they was trying to rush to do towards you to try to stop you and to slow you down, it still hasn't worked because you're still going to come into union with yourself and with your person. You will still come into union with your purpose. You will still receive that overflow of abundance and wealth into your life. And you are always divinely protected. This person, they got, they got it all twisted. Apparently, they have it all twisted. Let me clarify the Seven of Swords energy. Let me clarify the Seven of Swords. They can't stop what is divinely fated. The Most High said it's for you and you're going to receive it regardless. Sometimes, look at that. Seven of Swords clarified by the Tower. Tower is Scorpio energy. This is, they, they thought that being sneaky, they was going to come in and create some form of chaos in your life. They was hoping to wreak havoc in your life. Sudden chaos is what they was hoping would uh, take place as a result of their deception and wicked ways behind the scenes. The number seven is on the seven of swords. The tower is also the number 16, which breaks down to the number seven, which lets you know that this was spiritual warfare that they was trying to send towards you because the number seven deals with spirituality. Let me see. I'm going to clarify this. The tower. So I had to grab my other deck. I'm clarifying the tower and the seven of swords to see what type of spiritual wickedness was they trying to send towards you. Wow. Wow. Before I can even pull a card, it says money blocking spells at the bottom of the deck. I told y'all, I already know that's what they was doing. Trying to block your finances, trying to slow things down, hoping that it will create a tower in your life. Okay, I got the blinding spells. They didn't want you to see the truth. I'm telling you, the blinding spells, they didn't want you to see the truth about who they truly are, first of all. The type of things that they was doing behind the scenes because they was bitter that you don't want them or bitter that you no longer uh, connect to them or communicate with them or tell them all of your business. You know, this person is just feeling some type of way. It says your enemies are being destroyed. That's confirmation. Your enemies are being destroyed. So what I'm seeing, because this is clarifying this tower here, what happened, this person thought that they was being deceptive and they thought that they was going to come in and, and bring the tower down on your life. But what happened is they walked right into this tower and it became their own destruction. Because see, you were transforming the entire time. So before this lightning could strike and hit you, you already had your wings to fly away before anything could actually bring harm to you. Because you know how to rise higher in your energy now that you have done the work. You've transformed. You're no longer the caterpillar that's very vulnerable to being stepped on. 
you are a butterfly and you could fly new heights far higher than this plucked chicken can go, okay? Whoever this person is. And so they walked right into their own tower. They thought it was going to be your demise, but this ended up being their own demise. They walked right into their own tower, and that's why this says your enemies are being destroyed. I mean, again, this person was hidden, so you didn't even know who this person was for some of you. For some of you, you had no idea who this person was, and for others of you, this is someone that you might suspect would do this type of thing against you, but you just didn't have the evidence. You felt that they might have been doing something, but you didn't have the physical proof to back that up. So I have three cards that came out. I have confidence spells. They wanted to try to affect your confidence so that you wouldn't feel as courageous or confident enough to pursue your creative ideas or to bring yourself to the world, to bring your gifts to the world, whatever. It could it also deal with body image because it says body image spells. So they might've tried to uh, affect your confidence to where you don't feel good about yourself. You don't feel good about what you see when you look in the mirror. You don't feel good about how you fit into your clothes or, you know, just how you express yourself. Something about trying to affect your confidence, but see what this, what does this say? The most high said no. The Most High Mother and Father said no. So in spite of what they tried to do, they tried to block your money. They tried to make you feel less confident. They tried to blind you to their agenda so that you wouldn't see who was working up against you or what their particular agenda was against you. But the Most High said no. And so even if at one point you felt like, okay, you didn't feel as confident in your, your gifts or confident in your creative ideas or confident in yourself, you're now coming out of that energy. And the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, you can't tell them nothing when it comes to confidence. These are two of the most confident people in the Tarot deck, okay? And they take passionate, bold action towards their creative ideas. Nothing can stop them. That lion in the background indicates pride, okay? Knowing who you are, knowing the power that you possess. And so because you're aware of it, you execute whatever visions and thoughts or creative ideas you have, you move on them. Somebody was hoping that you wouldn't have the confidence to take action. Or to even put yourself out there with the body image spells and confidence spells. I'm also picking up, they was trying to affect how you felt about yourself so that you wouldn't even connect with someone else when it comes to your love life. They was hoping that you would just feel unattractive, like no one would want you, no one would be attracted to you. Or if you have certain issues, let's just say, for instance, if you felt, you know, um, insecure about, you know, your weight in certain areas, then it's like, okay, you might not have felt that zeal or that passion to get up and go do something about it. But now that spell has been removed to where you got gym memberships, you purchasing gym equipment and you're actually using it. You're changing your diet. You're doing different things to shift that energy, knowing that you don't have to just feel, you know, a lack of confidence when it comes to these things. You can actually do something about it. And that's what y'all been doing. If it doesn't have to do with the aesthetic, you know, anything physical, this can be internal confidence. Just knowing that you're good enough, knowing that people will see your value when you bring your creative ideas to the world, you know, whatever. But see, this person is out of tricks. Their trick bag is empty. Their trick bag that they had on their little back is empty because all they had was a bunch of black feathers and some Google magic, some textbook magic, some crap where they clearly have no divine connection whatsoever. You know, their trick bag is empty because everything that they was carrying, it's all falling out. OK, it's all falling out. Um, it's, it's just not working. Yeah, this could be a false friend that some of you all had, a false friend that was doing spells against you. You know, they tried to play nice in your face. That's why so many, um, the blinding spell was there. They didn't want you to truly see who they are. Because even with the magician card, this person's face is down. You can't see their face. They didn't want you to understand how they really felt about you. But these people were obsessed with you. And that some of them was hoping that you would become obsessed with them. So they might have done obsession spells in hopes that they could get you to bind to them and to pine after their energy and to crave their energy or crave their attention. Like this person, they really, they're very desperate beings, okay? Moon magic. Look at this. And they're jealous. Jealousy spells. Moon magic. I told you these people, they was doing things underneath the moon. Moon magic energy here. But that crap backfired on their ass so fast with this moon coming out in the reverse. People don't understand when you have a connection to all there is, 
first of all, the most high mother and father. When you have a connection to your mother and father, the creators of all there is, then you also have a direct connection to all of the elements as well and everything that the most high has created. And so me personally, I talk to the moon, okay? I don't care who the hell think I'm crazy. I communicate with the moon. I communicate with the sun. I communicate with the wind, earth, wind, water, fire, all of that. And so every time I moon gaze, I talk to the moon and I give thanks to, I call the moon night of light. I mean, I'm sorry, light of night, light of night. And when I talk to the moon and I'm moon gazing, I give thanks to the moon for not accepting any low vibrational wicked spell work that any of these low vibrational beings are trying to use against the chosen. I thank the moon all the time for not working with them, okay? And for not accepting or receiving whatever they're trying to do under its energy. So people don't understand having those types of connections. It's very, very real and it's very, very powerful. And so the moon even rejected their stupid behinds. The moon not only rejected them, but it also, uh, uh, it, it put them out there. It illuminated their darkness. It illuminated their agenda and the things that they was doing, thinking that they was getting away with it in the night, in the darkness. The moon also illuminated all of that. So their moon magic has backfired against them. It's over with for these beings, okay? It's over with for them. And now they're in victimhood mentality. You know, woe is me. Why? Because they're under judgment. Judgment is here. Okay, these people are under judgment. And so now they're in defensive mode. They don't know what to do. They're scattered in their energy. Meanwhile, you're in the nine of pentacles. And so if they tried to, like I said, with them trying to block your finances, you get all of that back. It's your harvest season now. You collect everything. All of those seeds that you have planted, it's just been, in gro it's just been growing. That's all. And they thought that they was going to withhold you from being able to collect what is divinely yours, but they can't stop that. They can't stop it. Because you've made peace, you've cleared, you've purified your energy. You have found yourself. You have found yourself. You know who you are. And so there's a white bird up there indicating that you have peace from within. So there's nothing that they can do to stop you. And they are under heavy, heavy judgment. Um, they wasn't ready for that one. So I'm going to pull a couple of more cards. I'm going to close out. Comment, subscribe, like the video, share it with those who may you know, need this uplifting or some clarity in regards to their own circumstances here. So what I have here is don't take action when there's a feeling of resistance. If your intuition is telling you that, okay, don't move towards this person or maybe it's too soon to do something because I, you still need to heal. You still need to clear something out before you take action so that you don't self-sabotage or um, contaminate the energy. Don't take action if there's a feeling of resistance. Focus on doing the inner work first. Or again, if there's someone around that you just don't trust and it's just like, I just, something just don't feel right. Don't take action until you gain your clarity. Let's see what else is coming out. Be willing to let go of everything you once thought to be true. Be willing to let go of everything you once thought to be true. So with that, the blinding spells, you might have been, you know, blinded to this person's energy and you might have really been convinced through these obsession spells that, oh, this person, I, I, I think I do love them or I think I do want to be with them or I think I am drawn to them for a reason. Maybe they are my twin flame or my divine partner or maybe they're supposed to be in my life. That's because they was doing obsession spells so that you will constantly be in your head about them. Okay. But this is saying be willing to let go of everything you once thought to be true because that was all manipulated energy, okay? Trying to influence your mind of something that really wasn't real. It was an illusion that was being projected towards you and it was going to take for you to do some healing to open up that spiritual eye to be able to see the truth. I'm going to take one more from this deck and I'll take one from... Mm. I'll figure out the last deck that I'll pull from. And then I'm going to close out. This says the will will turn in your favor. Keep going. That's the will of fortune. It is turning in your favor. So keep going. Don't look back. Don't, don't look back. It's time to just keep moving ahead because the will of fortune is all about your destiny. No one can stop it. So you're going to move towards what is divinely yours and you are favored. It is going to work out in your favor. The will will turn in your favor. So keep going. 
This person tried to stop your forward movement. Look at this. I just pulled the card of victory and success. You will blow the trumpet. This person will know that you are a divine being and that you are a protected being. This person will be very well aware of the fact that the Most High has your front, backside, and center. They will see you elevated, risen above them while you blow the trumpet of success to let the world know, yes, you have made it. Harmony, balance, peace is yours for you and your loved ones with the number six there. I'm going to take one more card and I'm going to close out. Victory and success is yours. They couldn't stop it. So now I have, look at that. You and your loved ones are safe. That's what that says down there. You and your loved ones are safe. Cancer energy. So it just lets you know right here. You don't have to worry about it. You are divinely protected. You and your loved ones are divinely protected. And so don't allow yourself to get caught up in your head about anything that these low vibrational beings to be doing towards you because they're in trouble. This thing is backfiring on them in ways that is unimaginable. They couldn't even see it coming, but they weren't supposed to. They were supposed to continue in their wickedness so that they could collect enough evidence against themselves. Okay, incriminate themselves so that when that judgment came down on them, when that gavel gets slammed by the Most High Mother and Father, the spiritual judges and spiritual court is now in session. That sentencing is going to be so harsh. But this is what they call to themselves. So let them deal with it. That's my message for you all. I love you. Please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll talk to you all next time.